nearly a week after the disappearance of 20 year old Alicia Yeoman, still no sign of her. But this morning, a new development. We watched as members of the FBI's evidence response team walked in and out of this Yuba City home. It's the last place Alicia was seen. Neighbor Dean Fryant says he heard police serve their warrant around 1130 last night. They were actually pretty loud. I mean, initially I heard the banging. I wasn't sure what it was. And then they started yelling, you know, police, this is the police. We need to do an entry. And they, they repeated that probably about three or four times before they got an answer. He says the home belongs to Mike Lizarraga, who works as a contractor. We wave to each other all the time, so it seems like a decent guy. Last night, law enforcement sources confirmed to KCRA 3 News that Alicia's mother has received several text messages claiming the 20 year old is the victim of a kidnapping. Sources tell us Alicia's mother first received demands in those texts Tuesday night through an online source using multiple IP addresses, which can make it difficult to trace. Surveillance video from a Live Oak homeowner shows Alicia's Toyota Tacoma truck driving onto a levee around 1055 Thursday night. Investigators said it became stuck and only one set of footprints could be seen walking away from that truck. Calls to Mike Lizarraga were not returned. We placed multiple calls to Gridley Biggs Police for an update on the investigation as well as information about the search, but they had nothing new to tell us. In Live Oak, Max Resnick, KCRA 3 News.